Ladies and gentlemen, this is an update to a segment I did right before this one, or actually two segments ago. So there's a magistrate that recused himself, that's true. And if you go to um, the Court Listener website, and you could, you could read what's taking place uh, within the Trump v. Clinton docket and court case, you can see that on April 6th, there was an order of recusal for a Judge McCabe to be recused. And the case was reassigned to magistrate, to another magistrate. Okay, so there's a judge and a magistrate both working on this case, or both given this case where Trump is suing 40 plus people for really setting up and framing him. They purchased a dossier that was complete nonsense, completely false, and they filtered that through media and, most importantly, through government agencies. That's why Comey and McCabe and Strzok are there. They would ne this would never have happened with a Democrat. Okay, Rudy Giuliani would never have purchased a dossier against um, Joe or his son and have that filtered through the U.S. government. And we can go on. If, the, if, you, if you reverse, if the tables are reversed, if the roles are reversed, this would never be allowed to, to have taken place against Trump. So he's suing them, rightfully so. His lawsuit coincides with the Durham Probe special counsel. It's already indicted three people. But there is now the judge here. So the magistrate has, this is the second magistrate to recuse from the, the uh, case, but the judge refuses to recuse himself. So this is according to Politico, and this is according to um, other publications just now. So judge rejects Trump's demand he stepped back from suit against Hillary Clinton. Now, to be fair, I actually agree with, or I can see why he refuses so Judge Middlebrooks emphasized he has never met either Clintons and was confirmed by unanimous consent in the Senate. This was in 1996. So I think that I'll say this. Initially, and hit subscribe to this channel right now, uh, we're almost at 196,000 subs. We're on our way to 200,000 subscribers. The reason I wanted to do this segment is because it was important to talk about the recusal of one. So you have one recusal here, magistrate judge, and that's April 6, 2022. But then, of course, there's a, an order on motion to disqualify judge. And the judge, in this case, Middlebrooks, will not recuse himself. Okay, so if you're an attorney in the comments section, give me your thoughts below. Um, I actually, I, I, know, I think that Trump is justified, obviously, to sue all of these people. Comey, Strzok, McCabe, Clapper, Brennan. All of these people are being investigated by the Durham Probe Special Counsel. So I think the court case is justified. I think perhaps what he was trying to do, um, I, I don't, perhaps any link to Clinton he wanted to remove from the equation, but then you might have had a judge to take uh, for, that was appointed by President Obama, and a judge appointed by Bush <laughs> might not be any be might not be any better, so or might not be much better. So maybe he just wanted any link to Clinton removed, and all you know, and for the judge to recuse himself. But judge rejects Trump's demand; he back from suit against Hillary Clinton. So I wanted an update. This saga right here. Middlebrook says he's never met the Clintons, you know, so he's not recusing himself. Would I, would it be good for Trump had he recused himself? I'm not exactly sure. Possibly. But I wanted to update this. So 
A federal judge nominated to the bench by President Bill Clinton in 1996 on Wednesday emphatically rejected Donald Trump's demand that he recuse from Trump's uh, sprawling lawsuit against Hillary Clinton, declaring that there's no legitimate basis to demand that he step back from the case. I read a little bit of the motion, and um, I don't think it'll make a difference either way. President Trump, whether certain, you know, whether some of this is thrown out of the court case or whether they continue with whether whether this judge says let's continue with this case and have uh, all of these depositions, the rebuttal from Democrats is well, uh, Trump's going to be deposed. Well, you're not going to find anything you didn't find with the Mueller probe. <laughs> so the depositions are going to hurt people like Comey and Clinton and McCabe and Robbie Mook and all of these people. It's not going to hurt Trump. There's nothing. He didn't work. He didn't conspire or work or was he was never installed by the Kremlin. Okay, so that's not going to... None of this is going to hurt him. In ter- like a, a deposition is not going to hurt Trump. The deposition is going to hurt the people who set him up and framed him, who are now being investigated by the Durham Probe Special Counsel. But I wanted to give you this update. Um... The, the, the person who's perhaps presiding over everything will not recuse himself. And there might be, I, I'm not exactly sure, but there might have been a magistrate judge who just recused himself today that I reported on two segments ago that was perhaps part of, you know, another judge helping this judge who won't recuse himself. I'm not exactly sure how the court is looking at this case because it's, 40 plus people being sued, including entities. But judge rejects Trump uh, demand he step back from suit against Hillary Clinton. I don't think it'll make a difference. What will probably take place is this. President Trump filed the lawsuit. It coincides with the Durham Probe Special Counsel. These people set him up and framed him. That's obvious. They cheated Bernie Sanders before that. And they basically cheated in 2016 people out of voters out of $200 million. So Bernie Sanders collected $200 plus million from impressionable voters like myself. Uh, I was the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to the Huffington Post, and the unofficial scribe of Sanders' most hardcore voters, according to the Washington Post. I'm voting for Trump. I voted for Trump in 2020. I'm voting for Trump again in 2024. Because he fights. He's actually suing Debbie Wasserman Schultz, which is what Bernie Sanders should have done. We had record low unemployment. We had economic growth. We're heading into a recession now. Um, we, you know, we didn't have the geopolitical nightmare in Europe. That's taking place now under under Biden's administration. Gee, I wonder why. You look at we had the First Step Act, Doha Agreement that Biden completely botched, but it was President Trump who brought Americans home. Biden was forced to, and he completely botched. The withdrawal and those 13 Americans should be alive today, and those 200 plus Afghans should be alive today. But what what take what took place was what took place was the following: the judge refused the the, the judge perhaps looking at the the main judge here, the magistrate judge actually recused himself today. The judge overseeing everything, the judge overseeing everything, did not recuse himself and refuses to recuse himself. The lawsuit is still not a, tri- not, not a frivolous or trivial lawsuit. The people who set up and framed Trump think that they think that they have the right to treat Donald Trump the way they treated Bernie Sanders. They think they have the right to just buy a dossier. Um, see, again, like all of these things that took place Millions upon millions of morally superior liberal Democrats, they don't understand, they don't know, they don't care. They don't know what a dos- the Steele dossier is. They don't know what the Alpha Bank n- hoax was. They don't know that uh, Peter Strzok said, we'll stop Trump. They don't know that Clinton and the DNC, and I want a Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump 2024 rematch, okay? As, especially because I was the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to the Huffington Post, and the unofficial scribe of Sanders' most hardcore voters, according to the Washington Post years back. And I'm being serious about that. You have Debbie Wasserman Schultz being sued by Trump. But Bernie should have done that. 
We had all of these, we have all of the, all, everything that I hoped Bernie Sanders would accomplish, Trump accomplished. And it's all being unraveled with Biden. But see, they set him up and framed him, and now he's fighting back. They cheated Bernie Sanders and would have done the same thing, but Bernie is not that type of person. He's a political creature and a political animal. Trump is a fighter. Big difference. And we had, for working people or for the average American or for everybody, a better economy and a better foreign policy under Trump. So the political aspect, uh, element, okay, I've addressed that. The legal side, I'm not 100% exactly sure where you had one one recusal today but a judge the main judge overseeing the case will not recuse himself but that's not really relevant i don't think will it be thrown out of court i don't know it could be too sprawling and too all-encompassing to for any any judge or court to look at you know trump suing all of those people at once if that's the case he's still gonna go ahead and continue to level lawsuits at every one of those people and alongside the Durham probe, Durham probe special counsel, it's going to be a legal nightmare for everybody that he's uh, going after. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. I wanted to give you an update because that's what I do. And I want you to, I want to just to update you on everything that's going on. Hit subscribe. Be here tomorrow morning. Thank you.